Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing um, <coughs> episode 2 of our me and Toby's uh, redstone battle thing. And if you haven't watched part 1, make sure to watch it. It's very fun. So this one... Mm -hmm. Awesome. So right now I am building my trap. Toby already built his, so he is just doing some other land, um, redstone stuff. <laughs> Alright, so these redstone repeaters delay the thing. So each of it is gonna have like a certain delay time. And you kinda like this. Like these. And then we can wire it up. All of them with redstone. And then just connect it to a redstone clock. I actually tried like a really complicated design. And it was just like too hard, so I just, you know, now it's way more easier too. So they go here and they're like, wow, a lever, and then they open and like, what is this monstrosity? Honestly, this is almost impossible. Is that one block there? Then he, he, that's like impossible, guys. That's impossible to get there, literally. I'm just gonna adjust the pitch timing randomly, so it's gonna look, it's gonna be like even more harder to do. It's that more slower and delayed, and I can change all the pitch timing too, so that's awesome. Oh wow, this is so hard. I put the blocks in there, and I feel like I can probably connect one here. I can put one right there, holding that, and then we can connect. Mmm, yeah, that's a lot of it. I remember. Okay, so we have to stand here. Yeet! Oh, oh that's. Oh, okay, that's impossible, honestly. That's impossible. That is impossible. Okay, so finish my trap. You wanna see? Yeah, sure, let's see. So, you see, like, once you do go, you can see all the redstone. You can see that it, like, there's lava on the bottom, and it just, like, opens and closes randomly. Yeah. And you can't get out, and you can't do it. It's, like, so hard. So, you go through the redstone door with the piston. I know, but if you just keep jumping, it works. It's so easy, and it's so hard to get out of it. So, uh, let's see. You just get a door. Mm-hmm. Or obsidian. Get a center plate. I'm not doing this trap. Oh, is it? Is it the iron door trap or the lock or the door lock behind the trap? It's a different trap, actually. Uh, you just put doors around you, and then... Yeah, that's the uh, iron door trap. Oh, okay. Then you, it's hard to move. You can barely move around. Yeah, and you're so stuck there forever if you had a ceiling. Yeah. I did it with a ceiling. Yeah, I made a video on how to make it. Easy shit. Yeah. But I like the uh like this one since like it's so easy to fall for. Actually, like they don't even notice. I you know I'm just gonna slash kill myself because it's set my spawn. I lost it again. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's do one that one. So you should you buy though. Yeah. Hey Toby. That was really good. Yeah. Oh thanks. So I got one point. And you should definitely make this room, and it's super duper easy to make, and like so many people literally fall for it. Oh, alright. So, uh, 
so it's this? like this. Uh, you basically make like an obsidian box, basically. And then so tell sad. people to go inside. I mean, like this can be part of like a parkour or whatever. And you put a pressure plate and then with an iron door and they go inside, right? But then they're trapped yeah. now because they're... And then don't add a pressure plate or a lever on the inside. No one like... They just, like always fall for it and they're just like stuck in the room forever. Okay, so uh, what's the next challenge? Uh, I don't know. What idea do you have? An automatic something? Yeah, like, you know the automatic penguin farm? I'm not saying we do that. Yeah, no. Since you already did that. But something like that. Something like maybe an automatic log penguin. I don't know, it's really hard to think. I'm not sure. Hmm. What's your idea? Hmm. Like a stone building house? That's really super hard. What about <coughs> like an automatic redstone cactus farm? Well, I've made one before, but I mean, you know what? I'll try. Right, yep. Let's do it. Well, I know how to make a sugar cane, an automatic sugar cane farm, because I made one before, and it's also on a video. But, like, uh, like, cactus farm, it's basically the same thing, I guess. After you get through, you'll end up in the automatic cactus farm, which makes you automatic cactuses. Beautiful. Who doesn't love a nice cactus? You know, I once got really hurt by a cactus. I just touched it, and I'm like, ow, it really hurts. Like, I'm like, cactuses won't hurt. Like cactuses are pretty useless unless like you you, you really need like light green dye or whatever. I mean green dye. Wait, cactus. Ain't, wait, can you not do cactus though? Actually, because that takes up too much space, right? Well, I think I know how to do it. Oh wait, no, actually, that's gonna be more better because like it's more of like a challenge. Yeah. So you don't know how to do it, but you. Look at that. Alright, I am torching it up so mobs don't spawn. Ah. Should I go to peaceful mode? I don't know. I'm even in, I'm like in creative mode so you can honestly do whatever. Oh yeah, so it doesn't matter. I'm in creative too. So yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, the I cactus. This is so hard because the cactus is right if something's like right behind them. What? Wait, can you place a cactus? I think you could only place a cactus on stairs. Yeah. How do you do it? Because then observe. Oh, wait, no, not like this. Then. Mm. Oh my gosh, That's not like so but. Yeet. How do you place an observer like this? Why doesn't it keep going that way? Why are you using an observer? Wow, mine's so simple. But you need an observer because this because you need redstone for this. Oh no, this is different. I know how to do it. I I, I might need a hopper. But... I know, but it has to be automatic. Yeah, once I press the lever, it'll just keep going forever. Okay, then I'm not gonna do an observer. I have kind of like a simpler design idea. Yeah, I want to do it as simple as possible. Wait, so, how do you place this cactus? You can't. You, you, you need oh. to place it on sand, and you can't place it if it's on like blocks. If it's like yeah, next to blocks, they break. Yeah, that's.
Okay, so this part next is gonna be like really, really simple. Like the simplest design. No, my, like mine is super easy to make. Imagine the sound, you know my lava thing traveling? Imagine just like the sound. So that's cool. Oh yeah, I need to make this one more deeper. Dang. I know how to make an automatic sugar cane farm because that's so easy. I'm going to use a water bucket. What are you going to use? Like, so, oh, to put it in the hopper? Exactly. It'll drop right here. I'm going to need... If I win this round, I'll be so, so, so rich. It's going to go... Oh, wait. Wrong way. This is probably going to be more on the battery. Please reach in. Yes, it reached Mine's not going to be that automatic because, you know, then I have to place observers, but, like, you know, all the, like, the weird stuff about cactus. So mine's just going to be a lever. So... Try something. So if your cactus has grown, no, it can't grow because of the piston. Oh my gosh! What is this monstrosity? No. Then how are you going to even do it? If the piston can't touch it, how do you do it? No, it worked, it worked. Oh, yes, thank you. It worked. Yee! Can you bone meal cactus? Oh, yes. Well, it's not kind of automatic, I guess. Well, I'll probably use a hopper because not all of the cactuses are going in, so sometimes you gotta go and collect it. So we're gonna go this way, and then we're gonna go this way, and then we're gonna connect it to the other hoppers. Crouch. Okay. This with that. And then we're gonna go this way, this way. All the way behind all these cactuses. Or cacti, actually. I think that's the real word, cacti. Now we know water. But the thing is that the water is in Okay, I'm done, Toby. 
Yes, I am done. Right, let me see Wait, actually, I'm going to add some other things. Wait, I'm going to test something. Can you bone me a cactus? Okay, I'm done, actually. I just need to... Okay, wait, I just need to add the glass, and then I am done. Okay, mine is just at the side because mine is a flat world, so I can't really dig down and make like underground stuff. Let's add these little thingies around. Beautiful. And then I'll also add a small door that you can actually access to go into the cactus place. There you go. Oh. has grown uh oh yeah well yeah and then when it and then it did so there's like a lever on this side and then if you press let's see where is it my hand can't reach it anyway so if you press the lever the pistons the pistons are going to push the cactuses and then it's gonna break them, and it's gonna go in the water into the hoppers and into the. Really? All right, see, well, mine I works. Had keep, I had to keep pressing the lever and replacing the cactus. So yeah, but this is an like, automatic cactus farm, so it only works like, like when yeah. the, your cactus grows. And then I also added a door so you can go collect it, cause. It's not starting over. I'll be done soon. Yee. Alright, so what shall I do? I guess you can wrap this down. Yeah, I'm gonna do my elytra when I'm waiting. Alright. Oh man, yeah. elytras are great. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need a fire rock rocket. Flight duration one. Beautiful. We shall fly. Dee, 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 dee. And if you want to learn how to fly with an elytra, make sure to check out my video. And if you want to learn like how to like land really like with taking literally like no damage, or how to use the firework rocket, check out all those videos. Too. We are a huge land. I'll think of like the next part of it, cause that's the, cause that's gonna be the last piece of our the world form that we have. Hmm. What do we have for like the last? Like the next part of it. Okay. I will see which redstone thing that we can do. What is essential in a base? <gasps> a super smelter. Wait, no, but I already did that in a video so that I kind of have like an advantage. Yeah, I haven't even heard of a super smelter, so that's not fair. Yeah. What about a uh, base defense? That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, we can do base defense. But first, I actually need a base. Well, 
Well, no, outside base defense. So the defense has to be outside of your house. You can use like arrows, lava, whatever your heart desires, but it has to be outside. Yeah. I'm gonna use lavas and so many cool stuff. And I'm gonna mute and I'm gonna say my genius idea. So guys, I shall be making uh, like a shooting tower because I just learned that snowman actually attacks like zombies and stuff. And then if you add fire where they're attacking, then it turns into fire snowballs. They don't do much damage, but then they look really cool. So I'm going to add those and like I'm also going to add like launchers with like redstone clocks. So it keeps launching. Er that's going to launch like arrows, pushing and stuff, harming um and like fireballs and lava obviously maybe like pufferfish thingamajigs too that'll be pretty cool and stuff yeah okay i got an idea but first i really need a wall and the wall is taking me forever because i need to add a stone wall because all my stuff is made out of wood and it is gonna burn with the lava Wait, actually, I made it not fire spreads. Ah, uh, who cares? I already started the wall. What defense tactic are you going for? Are you going for the lava, or are you going for, like, the potions or the arrows? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm more going for the potions, because I, I heard... Oh, I didn't hear the test of this out. It only takes... I'm not going to tell you which potion, but that potion... Only two of the... Oh yeah, yeah. Splash potions are really good because, like, arrows and stuff. If you have like armor, like, you know, it, like, it deflects it. Yeah, and then like the armor protects it, but then uh, splash potions it actually keeps it. Yeah, so like splash potions actually go through armor, so it's like the best choice all right i got my massive base okay i mean that's good of a wall as anything i shall start making my defense dispenser yeah you started out easy i'm sure i'll be able to catch up because mine's really fast okay and i have an idea uh don't copy it i'm sure you won't but it's called like the distraction and it's going to spit out, like, diamonds and stuff, so the people go to it. Yeah. It's not, like, that good of an idea, anyways. Yeah, it's going to be kind of like a distraction place that distracts all the players. And maybe, like, I'll have, like, a lava pit, and they have to kind of, like, brave it. Probably put it right here, and then right here, and then right here, and then right there. Let's make a redstone clock. Hey, Toby, do you know how to make a redstone clock, though? No, but I'm sure I'll be able to catch on. Okay, because, like, redstone clocks are going to be, like, really, like, the thing that you're really going to need for this. Like, redstone clock is going to be, like, the main thing for, like, all of your builds. At least that's gonna what it's gonna be in mine. So what else should it be? No, not TNT because it's gonna, because that's gonna blow up. Uh, ooh, netherite is the best. So I'll, I'll have like a station. It's gonna be right under the lava spitting out station. So they really gonna die. Wait, no, is that the double wall? Okay. So, I shall put stacks of netherite in. And people will be like, oh, wow, netherite. Oh, man, this part is so complicated. But I believe, yeah, so that, yeah, I can just connect that. Oh, no, but that redstone breaks it up. No. And I need the lava spitting out more higher than it. Yeah, okay, that one. 
and I do have some big defense tactics that have that I have learned from YouTube, and it's very cute. So I'm gonna have some lava. work so oh wait no i need this and then i need to go on top of it and then oh yeah wait no oh yeah it's gonna be like so intimidating they're gonna be like oh my gosh am i gonna die oh they will die but then it'll keep like going on and off and on and off. oh yeah that's so awesome but then they have to wait for the netherite to come out but netherite won't burn which is good then we have like the impossible trap. It's actually not too impossible. If you just keep jumping, you can always make it across, but they don't know that, so. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Oh yeah, my other defense tactic that, I, that I'm not gonna tell Toby about. It's so cool. But you shall never know unless, until I show you my stuff. So I need that around here. That would be nice. I actually don't need this much space up here. I just need it to be pretty high up in the air. And this will kill, well not kill, but this will kind of get the attention of the monsters so they don't come near the base. Because these creatures have very good instincts. I think I'm actually going to just use like fences so they can't get out. I could use blazes, but I can't because this is peaceful mode and I don't want any mobs spawning here. So like this, make a little tower. They're trapped in this blazing tower. But, like, can they melt, though? I have no idea. There you go, friends. So we'll have one tower of that. I totally give up. You just went that route, like, I'm so mad at this. What? So you But this is the last one. Okay, so my base defense is, there's not much, but there's like this lava thing, which attached to redstone plug, so it keeps pouring and then re-pouring and pouring and re-pouring. And then under it, there's, and then there's like a fireball thing that shoots out fireballs, because I'm not really done yet, but this like the bottom one it spits out netherite ingots and then there's shooting out fireballs and i can do that the same thing with potions and just like lava and stuff too so so i just gotta break that put that down and then do this okay now the netherite ingots coming out too and they're like oh my Gosh, netherite. Yee, and then they burn. And then the la this thing is the secret weapon, kind of. Look at this. I put snowmen in there because they attack, like, mobs. Like, hostile mobs. Yeah, and then I put, like, fire around it so their, fire so their snowballs turn into fireballs. I mean, snow fireballs. Yeah. Yeah, but they don't do much damage, but it still looks cool. I mean, that's my little redstone base there. I'm gonna go work on my, uh, thing. Ye Okay, doke. Oh, to choke. Okay, I'm gonna 
this time. I can see that I need to be sensitive. That means that I need to hurry to go on top of the defense so I can use the best place, place for the redstone. That face for telling me, but I'm not even going to set so Oh, I figured out what was going wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I need to stop the water flow, as they, as I say. So I got to put the planks there, so it stops the water. Then I can just break all the top ice that I was using, so it wouldn't fall. And then I can actually just put it on here, which means that I need this to be one more lower, which means that I have to do the whole thing all over again. Awesome. That works. But then the redstone will go there, but then... Oh, actually, I, all I need to do is actually just do that. And then make it so it goes on this side. And then I can just break all this glass here. And I use the redstone repeater. Oh, wow. Alright, now I'm about to finish it. Okie doke, artichoke. Eat. I'm gonna. I'll, I'm, I'm, I'll possibly die for this. So I'm gonna set my spawn. Okay. Uh, and, uh, so I'm, I'm in survival mode. Can you see it? Yeah. So, uh, if I turn it, you see that lever? Yeah. The cursor? Uh oh. I went inside. See, you see how it does that? Yeah, but then, like, it's not really that secret. Like, they already, like, know, like... So what if they don't press the lever? Oh, yeah. Like, only a new will check. So, yeah, I guess, though, you won that round. Yay, so I got, like, two points until we got one point. So I win the next one battle. Thanks for watching, guys. And make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications if you want to see more videos uh that me and toby did uh, you can also check out who can get the most pick uh ender pearls from bartering uh and then the next video after that which was like revealed so you know which one of us won because it was kind of cut short thanks for watching